Aha, there it is. Giddy up, let's go. Come on. Come on in, everyone. Where is everybody? Happy Soulful Saturday. Here they come. Hello, hello, come on in. My hair's a mess, sorry. Didn't have time for it this morning. <clears throat> there we go. Here they come. There's Jill. Hi, Jill. There's my girl Yvonne from Whittier. And Doris in Crosby, Texas. And Jan's in Texas, too. I hope you guys have... There's my Bobby girl. Hi. Come on in, you guys. The water is fine. Here we go. It is Soulful Saturday, y'all. There's Mary. Hi, Mary. And Jean. Good to see you. There's my girl, Vanessa. She's ready for a party. I love you back, Yvonne. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Come on, you guys. There's my girl, Amy. Good afternoon. Tracy's in the house. One of my Nutra coaches. There's Kimberly. Look at everybody. Jeanette. Hey, guys. Happy Saturday. There's Lisa. So good to meet you, Lisa. And Vanessa I just met, too. So good. I love meeting my girls. You know? Isn't it fun? And you guys have to forgive this hair. It really is a total... It is a, a mess. There's my girl, Gwen. And Jean. Hey, how is everybody? Sherry's in the house. Mary Ann. We know our Mary Ann. You know what my daughter Caroline said about you, Mary Ann? She said, Mary Ann listens to you. She said she was one of the first ones to like her page after she started. So my daughter is Caroline Bergeron. She's been married for six years. And Caroline has her, her own uh, website. She does food photography, recipe development. I wonder where that all came from. Well, not the food photography part, but anyway, her site is called Inherited Salt, and she did this killer little playbook on Thanksgiving, and it was, it's a departure from mine, but if you look on my Facebook page, um, my personal Facebook page, you will see a picture of Caroline's first turkey ever that she did 10 years ago. She has come a long way. She has come a long way, and I'm very proud of her, just in case. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Bobby put me... Can you see all my hair there? Can you see my pretty hair there? Okay. Bobby put me on her TV. I, I don't know. What are you thinking, Bobby? So this is the beginning of, uh, this is the beginning of a good week, right? Don't you think? I think this is the beginning of a good week. I know Saturday is traditionally the end of the week. Monday is the first day of the week and we all do it differently, but I am starting this week this is Saturday and I, the weekend is here and what have you. And I like to start with, I've got a new fresh quote, <laughs> a new fresh quote. And you guys are going to love this quote. It's one of my favorites. And I saw it the other day and I just said, you know, why haven't I used this? Because this is something that I love. And it is this, it's little hinges swing big doors from W. Clement Stone. And is that not just exactly the truth? And if we're here talking about Soulful Saturday and what have you, we have to understand that it is those um, little tiny things that make great big changes, you know, and it, those great big changes can go one way or the other, but we're looking toward the positive, aren't we? We are looking through the positive. And Vanessa saying about navigating through her mess, which I get it, you know, but, you know, Vanessa, you are not alone. We all have a mess to navigate through, don't we? I mean, if you don't have a mess to navigate through, please show me who you are. <laughs> I would like to meet you. And I'd like to interview you and find out how did you get through this life without having a mess? I certainly do. I've got a big fat mess. Don't you? If you've got a mess, throw me some hearts. I love the hearts. The hearts make me feel loved. And I'm needy. No, I'm not. <laughs> But yeah, we all have a big mess to navigate through. And this is how we do it. We do it with each other and, and we do it with things that we're learning and we do it with creating our own trail, blazing our own trail. You know, I, I shared with you about the Oregon Trail. I share with that, about that all the time. 
the Oregon Trail is still there. You can go still see it because those ruts are in the road a hundred and some odd years later. We have that in our brain too. And our brains love that. Our brains love our Oregon Trails. And that's where they keep st wanting to steer us back. I'm, I'm loved. You are loved too, Kimberly. Thank you. That's so sweet. I love your hearts. I love all of that. Thank you. Um, so we have to look at this, don't we? We have to look at all this. And I am going to go put this over here. And whoever is sharing, you're my, you're my friends. I love the share stuff. So share, share, share. Do all your sharing. Share this with all the friends that you have that need a little boost, need a little help, and are trying to navigate the same you know, scary territory that you are, that have the same mess that you do. If you have a mess in your life, you know you're just part of the human race. And in, in our tribe, in our hot melt tribe, and, and what we try to do is we try to navigate it as best that we can. We hold on to each other's hands and we recognize that we are a circle of women. We cannot be broken. Amen? We cannot be broken. The only brokenness happens is when you give permission for brokenness to happen. And that's part of our, those little hinges. That's part of those great big doors. That great big door represents our life. You know? It represents our life. And those little hinges, that's what we do. And if we get those hinges just right, and it, you guys know this, right? If you, have you ever had a door hung? It's not just a matter of hanging a door. You got to adjust it. You know, that door doesn't just hang beautifully right when you put it up. It's got to be adjusted. And that's constantly us. We're constantly adjusting. We're understanding who we are. And that needs to come out in what we do, not just what we say but in what we do. And we get to put that action plan into place when we understand that we might have to adjust those hinges just ever so slightly. Adjust that door ever so slightly so it's gonna clear and close nicely. We want it to latch. We don't want great big huge gaps in it. We want it to beautifully line up. That's how we all want to live. And is it gonna be perfect? Not on this side of paradise, <laughs> it's not. But, 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 but the good part is, is that we are, we're the, we're the craftsmen. We're the ones with the tools in our hands. And we're the ones who get to go up and just adjust ever so slightly. And how fun is that? How fun is that? I think when we can flip our switches and understand that this isn't drudgery, this isn't horrible, this isn't hard, this isn't a struggle, this is an adventure. It's an adventure and we get to do new things to create a new life. And we can continually ask ourselves, does this support the life that I'm trying to create? Does it? What kind of life do you want? Do you want it vibrant and full of everything? Is it gonna be about just food or is it gonna be about all the things? Is it gonna be about your family? Is it gonna be about the quality of life that you're leading? Is it gonna be more about your heart and your soul? It's Soulful Saturday, you guys. Let's giddy up on this. Let's giddy up. Let's grab it by the horns and say, this is my life and I'm gonna put everything I have into it. Everything. And guess what? I don't have to do everything tomorrow. I can do the teeny tiny adjustments every time. Teeny tiny. Those teeny tiny adjustments. And you know, you understand how teeny tiny adjustments are so important. Because if you ignore your GPS and you just keep driving the way you want to drive, you're going to either find out you're taking the extraordinarily long way or you're going to find out that where you're going is not exactly where you need to be going. You're going to find out instead of landing the plane in LA, you're landing it in San Francisco. That's an eight hour drive away. That's not exactly what we want to do, is it? We need to be on target. And we can be on target when we're listening to our internal stuff. Because my stuff and your stuff are different. I have a mess, <laughs> just like Vanessa said, help me with my mess. I've got a mess, you've got a mess. But navigating my mess is gonna be different than, for me than it is for you. And this is why this is such a personal journey. This is why diets fail. This is why nutritional diet gurus that you know come out of the woodwork and tell you this is what you have to do is wrong. Wrong. Does it take you into consideration? Does it take your mess into consideration? 
Does it understand what your life is about? Absolutely not. And that's why we go back to this place and we understand that those little hinges in our lives are critical for making that door swing beautifully. That door can stick on the ground, it can stick on the top, it cannot latch. There can be all kinds of things going on. But understand that you have the ability, you have the power, you have the tools to adjust it so that that door is swinging beautifully. And it's a work of art when it swings open actually. And that these little tiny hinges are just making making this huge door open up. And that's the analogy of your life opening up. It's vibrant, it's exciting, it's a journey. And so, yeah, there's gonna be some tough times, so what? Is anything, anything worth, anything worthy of your time when it's just so easy? And, and just think in your life on all the things that you had to struggle to accomplish, all the things that you put your heart and soul into, and then at the end you got this huge reward. You did this, you did that, you, you worked your buns off for something, and look what happened. Giving birth is such a good example, because let me just tell you, with few exceptions, it is not a cakewalk. There's pain involved. It hurts, and it takes time. And you gotta grow that baby inside of you. There's so much that happens there, but at the very end, you forget about all that stuff because look at this beautiful child that just came out of your body. What an amazing, amazing thing has just happened. And that is how it is with our life. If we think that we get to go through this struggle free, if we think that it needs to be easy and if we just give up just because it got hard, what does that say about us? Where's the backbone? Giddy up sisters, giddy up, <laughs> you know? We're, we might be sometimes thinking we're riding wild broncos, it's all out of control or whatever, but no, you're the one who gets on the horse. You're the one, and listen, listen to me, I'm like Miss Metaphor all, to the, all of a sudden today, but you are, you're the one who gets to control all of that stuff. And that should give you some strength, and that should make, take you from the, the powerful, out of the pitiful place and put you into the powerful place. Because it's all inside of you, and it's all about you pulling up all of that. How exciting is that? So you've got the quote of the week. Are you going to write that one down? I hope so. Because little hinges swing those great big huge doors. That is your life, sister. That is your life. And those little hinges, my goodness, can you imagine? You could not put a door together without those hinges. Or skip a hinge and see what happens. Hmm? I think those hinges, and you've got three hinges usually on a door, I think that represents the physical, the emotional, and the spiritual. There's a connection with all three, and it makes that door open and close beautifully. Without one, you don't have the stability of all the others. Interesting how that works, isn't it? But that's how it is. That's how it is when we're working through this day. So I had somebody ask, what are you drinking? It is not watered down yucky milk. It is hot milk mix. It is hot milk mix. This is what we have. It's in the shop and I drink it every single day. I love this so much. I think it's delicious. And I'm also loving right now, part-time, uh, this, is, this is the perfect paleo chocolate. But I, you know, I haven't had chocolate in so long. You know, I have a thing about chocolate, but I can have chocolate flavor and ch rich, delicious chocolate. I can have that, just not the chocolate chunks. You know, I can't, I have to stay away from that stuff. So having chocolate has just made me so happy again. It just works. And then I'm also digging the Get Lean, but I don't think we have that in the shop right now, so don't look for it. Anyway, um, you know, one of the things that we do, one of the tools in our toolbox is making sure that we track everything and that we understand where we are. We are, in, by the way, trying to create these great, these new pathways, trying to create a life, a vibrant life that we all want. You know, we all get there differently. We all have different things that we need to do. And I say to you this over and over, but it's so critical that personalizing your plan is what you have to do. You have to, because without a personalized plan, everything just, you know, it's just skipping along, skipping along. This person, I'm gonna follow this person, that person, this person, that person, this one's good, this one's not, this one's on the Today Show, this one has a new book coming out, and I'm exhausted, I don't know about you, I am exhausted just from all of it. And has anybody ever 
addressed you? Hmm? Have you been brought into the equation? Well, I am bringing you into the equation because it's a personalized journey. If you don't personalize this, then you're not going to make it your journey and you're not going to take it all the way. You're going to be hopping around from this person to that, you know, and it's, it's, you're a guru shopper at that point. You're not looking for a life solution. You're looking for anybody who will give you anything. And it is not about your diet. Listen, if it was about diets, we'd all be sporting six packs and feeling great, you know, and wouldn't even have it be having this conversation. It's not about a plan. What it's about is understanding a little bit about your body, how it works. It's about understanding your own mind and how it works and connecting the two. Connecting the two. When we connect with ourselves, when we connect with our heart, soul, and minds, that's when the magic happens. Click, click, click. It all snaps into place. All those hinges are on your door. All those hinges are on the door and they're adjusted. You know, you recognize who you are, that wonderful woman that you are. You recognize your heart. You recognize your soul. You recognize your heart and your head and your brain. You understand that your brain is connected to your mouth, right? Your mouth needs to work. Your, mouth, your voice needs to work. And you have to understand what your mouth is limited to. It's limited to speaking and eating and swallowing, right? It is not an entertainment zone ever. When we get out of that and understand that, then we can leave that behavior behind and start feeding, fueling, and experiencing a whole new level of life. We cannot do that when we treat ourselves so poorly. And I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. I want for you to have all the things in your life that you want. But you've got to take this vehicle of yours, your body, very, very seriously. You got one, one, one. You got one life, and you've got the blessing of your family and your friends. You got the blessing of the work that you do. You have the blessings of all of this, so treat it like that. Elevate your thinking, my soulful girlfriend. And when you elevate your thinking and you start looking at things in that perspective, then it, you, it's just like, it's a, it's a total no brainer. You can't, you can't do this. This would be going against everything you believe in. You can't, you can't eat that way. This is going to be destroying your vehicle. This is going to be taking away from your dreams. You know, and you remember what last, this last week's quote is costs nothing to dream, but everything, if you don't, it also, you can take all of your dreams and dash them away. Can, you can do this with food. You can use food as your enemy. You can use food as your punishment. And you think you're rewarding yourself and you think you've got this much pleasure in your life. But at the end of it, you've got guilt, you've got remorse, you've got regret, and it's beating you up and it's hurting you. It's harming you. And you wake up the next day and you can hardly walk. You're in pain. The pain is back. The guilt is back. The, all of this is back. And here we go into the holidays. What is our mindset going to be for the holidays? This is where we check in with ourselves and adjust our hinges. You know, a holiday party doesn't have to be off the table, so to speak. <laughs> but holiday, you have to have a strategy going into a holiday party. You don't just go and just hope for the best, starving and all of that. It's not. Rebecca says, I think I need to realize it's okay to be a little selfish in a loving way. Absolutely, Rebecca. Absolutely, 100%. If you don't have a little bit of a selfishness for yourself and your self-care, guess what happens? Guess. Then you will come last and you will not get what you need. You will not get what you need. All three of those little hinges are just going to be taking your door right off. They will not be adjusted. Spiritually, you'll feel starving. Physically, you'll be a wreck. And mentally, you know, you're going to be beating yourself up and just taking yourself down and you're going to be consumed and obsessed with food and what I did wrong, hating yourself, and then doing it all over and over and over again. Have you ever done that? Do you know the carousel of crazy? Have you been on it before? Well, our goal is to not only get off the carousel of crazy, we want to pull the plug, dismantle the thing, and then take a sledgehammer and destroy it and throw it off a cliff, light it on fire, whatever it is that you want to do to it, but it's got to go. When the carousel of crazy is out of our way, we're no longer obsessing about all the things, right? 
We don't want to, we don't want that. What we want is a vibrant life. What does that look like for you? For me, a vibrant life is when God, when one of my children finally gives me a grandchild, I want to be that grandma, that fun grandma. And I, I don't want to be constricted by my, the physicality that I have. Well, I will be if I don't take care of myself. <laughs> but you know what? I can take care of myself in such a way so I don't have to go there. Mm-mm. I don't have to go there. I don't want you to go there either. Do you realize the power you have? Do you know that it's all inside of you? And all I'm doing right now is pushing at it. I'm pushing at it and I'm stirring your pot. You know why? Because you're worth it. You're worth the time. You're worth the exploration. <laughs> you're worth finding out about. It's all inside of you. It's all inside of you. And if I can do anything for you, it's to bring that out. It's to bring that out. Because once you understand that and you've got those things all connected and you start opening those doors and swinging open how beautiful your life is with those beautifully adjusted hinges, suddenly everything is just going to come into picture and you're just going to be living a life that isn't full of I'm thinking and obsessing and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm, I'm up, up, all up in my mess. I want to take you out of your mess and help you make sense of it. Messes are part, messy lives are a part of the human equation, right? It's all messy. But it doesn't have to be tragic and it doesn't have to be tragically messy and we don't have to get caught in it. What we do have to do is look at it and enjoy it and, and just get in with it. And understand that this process that we're in, if we respect the process and if we take it one step at a time and however yours looks and however mine looks, I mean, they're all different. Wow. Doesn't, does the sparkle come in? Does the magic come in? Does momentum come in? Yes, it does. It does. That's where it's all hidden. It's hidden in the mess. Who knew? We've looked everywhere else, but look in your own mess. There it is. There's your life. And it's fantastic. Little adjustments are necessary. Big deal. If you know somebody who's got it all together, they don't. And I promise you, you're not going to find them on Instagram or Facebook where everything is picture perfect. I had a girlfriend years ago. Her, I mean, the most beautiful family photos you've ever seen. The most, you know, and I just used to say, oh, I'm so envious. You know, here I am with a single mom trying my best and starting a business and just, I felt like I was just always just this, like paddling water, just keeping my nose up, up to here in water. They didn't have it together. It just looked like it. Years later, I found out, you know, they got a kid who's punching holes in the wall. They had a kid who was just, you know, out there having smoking dope behind the thing and you know they never got caught it was just like the picture was there but the reality it wasn't so pretty and this is what you need to understand that that perfect that we see ourselves in that that comparison that we do and what do we know about comparison is that the thief of joy it's a thief I would say it's a thief of all joy it just takes it all out of you because we're spending our time and our energy on somebody else who's worked really hard to look perfect. It isn't that way. So when you see somebody like that and you look at that and you say, these people are perfect, this is that and the other thing, and we've got this, and I'm a Breck, and I'm a mess, and I'm a this, aren't we all? You just haven't worked that hard on putting together the, the, the perfect veneer. Perfect veneer. This is our lives, guys. This is our lives. We have to dive in and take it for what it is. We all have things in our lives that have hurt us and caused pain and, and horrible things. Some of us have eaten our way into the body clutter that we now wear. And there's shields and there's guards. And if you've read body clutter, my goodness, if you haven't read body clutter, get on it, girlfriends, right here. This is where we talk about it. This body clutter was my way of rebuffing. Body clutter was my way of staying safe. There's other ways of staying safe. Do we understand that that is not a safety net? Do we understand that yet? I sure do. 
I understand what my safety nets really are. I understand my safety net is God himself and prayer and meditation and surrounding myself with the right people and making rules for myself and understanding that when I break my promises to myself, I am wounding my own integrity. Do you get that? So here you are and maybe it's painful and maybe it's hard and maybe it's a mess, but I am promising you this with everything that I have, that if you just get in there and just go swim in, in your own little dirty pond, whatever it looks like, and understand that one, you are equipped for this, 100%. Two, that you keep your company, you keep the correct company, the right company, and you hang out with the right people, and you're gonna be more like them every day. And it's not a comparison thing. It's being with the people who love you. It's being with the people who hold you up and support you, and sometimes wag their mama fingers at you and say, hey, 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 like I do sometimes, right? And then it's also understanding that we are decision makers. We make decisions every day. And don't think by not making a decision that you haven't because you have. So you make a decision every day. You make a decision for your health and your wealth. You make a decision for your children, for your husband. You make a decision for your work. Am I going to show up? Am I going to be excellent? Because this is never going to be about perfection. And if you can get rid of the perfectionism and understand that perfect is when we are in and the throne of God himself and we're with the heavenly father, there's perfection. There's where we, that's where we land the perfection thing. That's where I'm all day long. You can go about perfection, right? But understand this, the moment that you understand and accept and know that your mess is your mess and that you get to, you get to own it. You get to have it. And that is a privilege that you've been given with all the stuff. Then things start to change because you know that that door that is opening up to your life has little hinges that you can adjust at any time, at any time. It's up to you. You hold the tools. And you make the decisions on the adjustment. It's cool, isn't it? Did you know you had that much power? So we strive for excellence in all that we do. And it's fun to be excellent, isn't it? It's fun. It's not perfect. It's in nowhere close to perfect, but it's better than it was yesterday. And it's just a little bit. It's incrementally taking you to the next level. And it's allowing yourself to experience and to grow. And you have more to offer others. Isn't that an interesting how that happens? Bobby on our page, on the Sprint page, and she's listening right now. She has, she's got a whole bonfire thing that she's doing on Sunday to get rid of all the stinking thinking. I mean, come on, that's brilliant. Get rid of the stinking thing. You know what Bobby's done? Bobby said, I've taken this journey on for myself. She's taken the body clutter on for herself. It's her missions, not mine, not Marla's her missions, and she's created for herself her own path. That's what you get to do. You get to create this path to right to your mess. But just all you have to do is just decide, excellence is my way. That's the way I do things. You have to decide, these are the people I'm hanging out with. And you have to decide, I'm going to use my voice. Because if you don't ask for what you want, you're not going to get it. End of story. I promise you, nobody... Nobody can read your mind. Nobody. So now think about this. Think about this hard. Are you going to bless your own mess? Are you? And love your messy life for what it is? And, and understand that you have the tools, the ability, the, the cre creativity, the courageousness and the power within you to be able to adjust those little hinges on the door of your life. Do you know that? That's what I want you to leave this video with. And that's what I want you to share with your friends. Because as a community, when we do this together, we are stronger and we are better. And if you don't believe me, go into the sprint group and just look. The stronger and better is what I see all the time. My hot milk clubbers, I can't even, I, every single time I get on the, uh, do, to, to do my consult with them and I see them pop up, on my Zoom screen, it's just eyeball to eyeball. What a privilege for me. How much you bless me, I can't even tell you. 
it goes both ways. So bless your sisters, be there for them, and also be in the midst of your own mess and bless it. Bless every little dirty piece of it because this is your life and you're the one who gets to lead it. Right? Amen. Hmm. All right. That's it. That's what I have for you today. It's Soulful Saturday. Go out and enjoy your family. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow on Sunday. And have a fantastic weekend. Love you guys. Peace.